living victim, uh, one of the uh, air conditioned techs, was transported from the scene uh, to EMS who could not make it to the area by our deputies in a personally owned vehicle that was on the property, a truck. Shortly after uh, arriving on scene, we requested our uh, unmanned aerial system or our drones and also our canine unit immediately to respond as well as the state law enforcement division's helicopter for aerial support. Once the investigation began, uh, we were able to develop uh, Philip Adams as a suspect uh, in this incident. We also learned that Mr. Adams lived close uh, to, to where this incident took place, just down the road, about a quarter of a mile, maybe a little more. Uh, we were able later on in the evening to make contact with Mr. Adams' father, uh, who lived with the suspect at the time. We were able to move, remove uh, Mr. Adams and later Mrs. Adams from the home as we had a search warrant for the home and for Philip Adams. At around 2.30 a.m., we confirmed uh, that Mr. Adams, Mr. Philip Adams, uh, that the suspect was deceased in a bedroom in the home. As I said before, and as Trent said, we're 22 hours into this investigation. We've gathered a lot of information. We have a lot more information to gather. As, as to the why, uh, again, my uh, two priorities here are, uh, number one, to assure the citizens and the community in York County that uh, an armed man who uh, just shot six people is not on the loose. I assure the community that is the case. We feel like that we have uh, the individual who is responsible for this and that he is deceased. My second priority is to the families. Uh, respect for their privacy and their grieving process. A little bit of information that I have about the suspect is that uh, we issued several traffic citations by our traffic unit in February of 2021. Those were minor charges. Uh, and then he has some pending criminal charges from 2016 that occurred in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. Information about those traffic citations uh, are in your packets. I can't go without uh, thinking, thanking uh, our partners in law enforcement, the State Law Enforcement Division, the Rock Hill Police Department, the State Law Enforcement Division, Department of Homeland Security, the South Carolina Highway Patrol, the Chester County Sheriff's Office, and the many, many, many surrounding agencies who made contact with me and made contact with us throughout the evening to offer their assistance. We could not have had a successful uh, investigation that we did without those folks' help. And at this time, I'll, uh, I'll entertain some questions. Please be aware that there's not more, much more information that the family has been given or that we really know at this time. Sheriff, was Adams a patient of Dr. Leslie's? We have uh, not been able to verify that. Did he shoot and kill himself? You said you guys found him deceased? Yeah, self-inflicted gunshot. We believe to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. To my left is coroner Sabrina Gast, and any, any questions that might be directed uh, about the pathological um, situation or circumstances of Mr. Adams or, or death, cause of death can be uh, directed to her and behind her is our solicitor Kevin Brackett who uh, was on scene last night as well. Andrew. Sheriff, I have a question. Um, can you talk about what evidence is found in the house being stolen or taken and is it true that the suspect left the cell phone in the house uh, at any time? So uh, we have not been able to determine that uh, anything was taken from the Leslie's residence. And uh, all, all, I, all I'm able to say right now is that uh, we did recover evidence at the scene that linked Mr. Adams uh, to that area so, uh, definitively. Uh, 